give my review on the WWE Superstar Shakeup of 2018. And yeah, it was a lackluster shakeup. Can't sugarcoat it. First of all, you got Jinder Mahal going to Raw with the United States Championship. When that happened, I was like, all right, send the Intercontinental Championship to SmackDown then. Because the Intercontinental Championship should be hand in hand with the WWE Championship. But then when Jeff Hardy as United States Championship saw up on SmackDown, I was like, wait, what? You ruined, why? You had it. You had the championships switching. The United States Championship with the Universal and then the Intercontinental Championship with the WWE Championship where it fucking belongs. Of course they weren't going to change the Tag Team Championships. That would have been stupid. Of course they weren't going to take the Universal Championship over to SmackDown. They're not going to do that as long as Brock Lesnar holds it. And I don't think they're going to get rid of the red strap for a blue one. Okay, that will be kind of a marketing thing. Yeah, Universal Championship Raw version, Universal Championship SmackDown version. I'm just surprised that the WWE Championship hasn't been changed with a blue strap already. But anyway, the Riot Squad hits a Raw. Um, so Absolution goes to SmackDown. They basically switch places. So they're going to be doing the exact same shit, just on different shows. So that's why I was like, why the fuck does that... You couldn't split them up and have them go on their own? Why the fuck was it necessary to keep them as groups? You could have split them up, have them go on their own, expand the roster, expand the one-on-one -on -one situation, because that is what both of these fucking women's rosters need. To have them as groups still and to train them as a group, I thought that was just really, really stupid. They should just break up the Riot Squad and break up Absolution totally. But they have to have the rest of Absolution because now Paige is the general manager and she can maybe do perks for them. But I still think that is absolutely fucking stupid. I didn't get that at all. <sighs> Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. That was just like, duh. Oh, there's fire for SmackDown. And, and the, yeah. Serious? Are you serious? Did you actually think that they were actually fired? No. Breezango on Raw. Um, that threw me for a loop. It's, but they're going to still be a fucking joke, even though they just beat the bar. Oh, but the bar's on SmackDown now. They lose to Breezango and then go to SmackDown. So... What does this do for them getting the fucking champion? You already know that it's in print now that Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy are going to get the Raw Tag Team Championships since that shit has been happening. I come on, you can't be that stupid and that predictable. Okay, so you're saying that, but 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 then the tag team championships, all the big card titles, that doesn't matter. Because every pay-per-view are now going to be with both shows on it. Then why have a fucking shake-up in the first place then? If you're going to have both champions, uh, both ch all championships be defended, and maybe a Raw superstar will challenge a SmackDown superstar, or vice versa, then why the fuck is the shake-up necessary? And why the fuck do you bring one champion sh to the other show? Is there, a ch is there a shot of Samoa Joe bringing a Universal Championship on SmackDown Live like he said he could? Is there a shot that him bringing the Intercontinental Championship on SmackDown Live like he said that he would? Dolph Ziggler? <laughs> he wasn't doing shit on SmackDown, so you put him on Raw. Drew McIntyre from NXT. Okay, that, that could work. And now they're going to have him as a tag team with Dolph Ziggler. So, okay, yeah, that could work. But at the same time, Dolph Ziggler 
career went to shit on SmackDown Live. Then you have Natalia on Raw. Why? Oh, because she's going to be buddy-buddy with, with Ronda Rousey? Because they train together and maybe she can show her some goddamn wrestling? WWE style? Instead of just a flurry of punches and kicks and a takedown? Oh, but the one that she flurried is on SmackDown Live now. Samoa Joe going to SmackDown really fucking confused me. He belongs on Monday Night Raw. Unless they somehow, someway give him the WWE Championship. The WWE Championship is now a big clusterfuck of confusion. Because Shinsuke Nakamura is resulting the nut shot, nut shot, nut shot. So now... We can't even fucking take him seriously as a contender for the WWE Championship because WWE won't allow it. So, let's say he does win the WWE Championship. Nakamura. Where does it go from there? Does it go to Daniel Bryan? Does it go to Rusev Day? Does it go to Samoa Joe? Big Cass. Back to AJ Styles? I, I don't know. Uh, speaking of big cast, he comes back and he, they put him on SmackDown Live as a heel. <sighs> Targeting Daniel Bryan. Anderson and Gallows. I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. I knew they were going to go SmackDown Live. There was nothing left for on Raw for them. So maybe it could be good for them. But the bar is also on SmackDown Live. So you're trying to liven up the tag team situation, but you have the Bludgeon Brothers, you have the New Day, and you have the Usos. Maybe that can do something, but I don't know. You have R-Truth on SmackDown? Why? There wasn't enough comedy there? Oh, the comedy of Breeze Angle moved to fucking Raw, so you have to accommodate SmackDown. He didn't even fucking finish his feud with Gold Dust. This is what pisses me off about the shakeup. Certain feuds weren't even done. And certain feuds are not even fucking happening anymore, even though they're on the same show. Why is it Sasha Banks and Bailey going at it and going at it and going at it, feuding, then separating on two different shows? Why the fuck that didn't happen? Out of everybody that moved, one of them didn't. And that doesn't make any sense to me. I knew Bobby Roode was going to Raw. There was nothing left for him on SmackDown Live. But again, that's just saying, ah, you're never going to get, you're not, you weren't going to get the WWE Championship, so we moved you here. Bobby Lashley, No Way Jose, Ember Moon, that was already common sense. They were on Raw last week. So why the fuck would they debut on Raw last week and then, Go to SmackDown Live. That wouldn't have made any sense. Chad Gable is on Raw. Are they going to reunite American Alpha once Jason Jordan? Yeah, that's their fucking plan. They can't have Jason Jordan on his own because Jason Jordan sucks. He was getting booed more than Roman Reigns. So that's why Chad Gable went to Raw. So they're going to team up. Maybe they'll be the new team angle. No, WWE isn't that fucking smart. They wouldn't fucking do that because that would mean that WWE has a set of fucking brains and a big fucking balls. But they just want to use their shit. They, they just want to use their shit to fuck us. That's all WWE wants to do right now. Yes. They, they Dicks up inside of their fans. That's all WWE wants to do. Okay. Andrade Cien. Oh, oh, okay. He's also right now live, but is, are they going to do anything with him? From NXT, NXT champion, now to SmackDown Live. Hmm. Look at what they did to Nakamura. Look what they did to Bobby Roode. He was, what, United States champion for like a fucking month or even less than that? Sheamus and Cesaro, I set the bar already. And then you got Sanity. Killian Dane, Eric Young, and Alexander Wolf are now on SmackDown Live. Oh, yeah, and um, uh, I, I don't... Yeah, Selena Vega also with um, Andrade Cien. I, 
So is she going to do anything for the women's division? Or is she just going to be his fucking valet? Is she going to be on her own? Are they going to let her be on her own? This draft, this shakeup, <laughs> basically, again, this was basically WWE. Yeah, this is them shaking up the fans. Talk about, you're going to allow everywhere that we put these motherfuckers, all right? This is basically, WWE is like Pepe Le Pew hopping towards its fans and and basically getting us in the corner and raping us. That's basically, yeah, Pepe, Pepe Le Pew was a fucking rapist. That's basically what WWE is doing with their fans right now. Because they're not giving us what the fuck we want and we're trying to run away from it. They're catching us and they're raping us. There's something that has to be done here. Maybe, maybe they're going to be good feuds. I'm not counting on it. I'm not counting on WWE following common sense, logic, and actually giving us good feuds, good matches. They've just ruined WrestleMania with a whole bunch of shit that they had no business to be doing. So with this shakeup, <laughs> what the fuck? Did any of you actually like this shakeup? Even the potential matches that could be had. Oh, so we're going to see Samoa Joe and Nakamura on the main roster now? Is that going to happen? No, because they're both heels. Daniel Bryan versus Samoa Joe. Is that going to happen now? They just ruined Nakamura coming out to ruin AJ Styles and Daniel Bryan teaming up. They wouldn't even let that match fucking finish. So do you have faith in WWE after this fucking shakeup? I surely don't. I want to be proven wrong. I want to be proven wrong. I want to be like, all right, let's let this shit go. Please put on good matches. Please put on good feuds. Have worthy people win the championship. Don't have the jizz be pushed. If you push the Miz past Samoa Joe, if you push the Miz past Nakamura, WWE, if you do that, fuck you. You shouldn't even be pushed past Cass. Again, push the Miz past... Oh, no. Just past Daniel Bryan? WWE, if you do that, Fuck you. He shouldn't even be getting any, any mid-card titles anymore. So, no. Just... Anyway, what did you think about the Superstar shake-up? The rattling of the fans and WWE basically putting his dick up, 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 up in you. What, what do you think about that? If you have anything positive to say about this shake-up, I'm willing to fucking hear it. I'm willing to fucking read it. Please leave a comment below. Because I don't see any positives. I just see them trying to fuck us. But anyway, leave a comment below. Hit that like button. Hit subscribe. Is this shakeup worthy? Was the 2018 shakeup worthy? And is it going to lead anywhere? Good. Drop kicks, body slams, throwing motherfuckers over the top rope, won't be hitting the floor. Yes, I'm a wrestling fan. This is the theme. And I'll see you later. Credits.